seed saving story time. Last winter, I participated in six, count them six, seed swaps. I hosted three, participated in three. And I knew that the seeds that I got would possibly come from people that knew what they were doing with seed saving and some that probably didn't. And I have something to show you today to show an example of when, well, they didn't. When it comes to saving uh, cucurbit seeds, those would be your pumpkins and squash and zucchini. They, call, they all come from the cucurbit family or cucurbitae family or Latin. Anyway, you have different varieties in there. You have Maxima, you have Pepo, you have, I can't remember the third one right now off the top of my head, but there's a third one. And if you grow one of the, oh, Moscata or Moschata, Moschata, a little Italian. Um, if you grow one of each variety, you can save the seeds and they will grow true. So, um, Black Beauty Zucchini is a Pepo. Um, the Red Curry Squash is a Moscata. Um, and I can't remember one of a, the other one right now. But anyway, if you have different ones, you can save the seeds and they will be true to type. They won't cross. However, most garden pumpkins and zucchini and a lot of squash are C. Pepo. It'll say it right on your seed packet. And in my seed swap, I got seeds from someone and they said patty pan squash. I'm like, oh, cool. So patty pans are short, scalloped, little stout, little um, summer squash. And they're really delicious. And I grew them and I thought, did I, did I plant a patty pan? Is that what I planted? Because, well, let me show you what I got. I planted two varieties in my kid's garden. One of them is down here vining on the ground and look. Look at this thing. Ugh. Does that look like a patty pan squash to you? Mm -mm. It does have a little bit of the squat look to it. It has the white color, but that most likely crossed with a pumpkin. And then the patty pan that was growing right next to it, I think that the bees did a little lovely cross with a zucchini. Look at that. So it has a perfect zucchini look to it, beautiful white color. I have, here, here's an actual Black Beauty to give you comparison, right? Zucchini. Now, will it work? Will it be worth trying to eat this? Okay. Squashes have something in them that when they go back in their traits, it can actually be a little bit toxic. And an easy way to know if it is toxic is they taste real bad. So I'm gonna cut into this. I'm gonna take a little bite and see what I think. Now, if this is like the most amazing little patty pan in the whole wide world, little new zucchini, I'll never get it again because I don't have any more seeds to grow in isolation to save the seeds because these ones likely had crossed with these ones that were growing right next to it. So fun lesson in plant hybridizing in the garden. I hope that was clear. Um, I'll be teaching a class on seed saving focused on flowers, but a class on seed saving for the Growing Kindness Project on September 4th. Love to have you there. On that note, if you have seed saving questions, flowers or otherwise, I, I save a lot of seeds. And quite frankly, I've saved them from trial and error and just does it look like a seed? Yep, it does. Does it grow? Sure enough. Um, and then I have done a lot of research as well. So if you have questions about seed saving, please ask. I would love, love, love to get this conversation going as we're moving into fall.